So the latest file OS 19 is shaping up to be the best Android OS on PC right now. Only last week we covered the Chrome OS 132 update. Check that video if you haven't already. Let's explore the brand new features in file OS 19, code named Desolate Frontier. All right, taking things off with the official Steam beta support. The yes, Steam has finally made its way to file OS. You can simply search for Steam in the start menu. However, if you have processor older than Ryzen 3000 and less than 8 GB of RAM, like I have, then you have to rely on Linux app stores to get the Steam app. And don't worry, it works just fine and even I have installed and played PC titles. And while it may seem like the game is lagging, but that is due to the screen recording. And without it, it works just fine and of course it's on the lowest graphics. Now adding more to the gaming experience, we now have the support for official game dashboard, meaning we can enjoy our Google Play Store game titles and play using our keyboard. You can use the game toolbar to quickly take a screenshot, which is quite handy. And you will notice that this game, the hill climb racing, has already mapped its key to the keyboard for going forward and backward. Similarly, we can manually map any key to the function shown on the screen. I have mapped the W key again with the D key, a superb addition in my opinion. Apart from gaming, we now have some intellectual updates with the addition of OS AI Assistant. And this isn't some dumb AI tool, but it actually has a lot of functions. You can choose among the multiple assistants like for learning a language, course, web development, consultation, and many more. If you go into the settings, we can also change the language model to the ones we like. By default, it is set to GBD, but you can select DeepSeek, Llama, or Grok, but you need their respective ABI keys for them to work. Now, coming to some of the OS level use case for Fire OS AI Assistant. So, for example, I can right click on a PDF document and select Fire OS AI, then ask it to summarize it, and it's going to do it effortlessly. We can also use the Fire OS AI anywhere even while browsing, the selected text and then press Ctrl plus C plus C and then you can use the Fire OS AI to analyze the selection. You can do this for commands and formulas to automatically give you the best response. We may have already have a lot of AI systems but Fire OS has integrated it in the system which makes it a valuable addition. Now multitasking has also improved with the newest Fire OS 19 update. We can now much faster split the screen into two. When you now split one app, the other apps already are shown on the right side or left side, making it easier to choose one. Also the transition is super small while browsing and switching between the apps. A great quality of life update. Another useful update is regarding the Google Play Store. As always, you won't get the Google Play Store on your first boot, but you can install it manually. The process does require a little work, but I will cover it in my upcoming installation video. However, the good thing is that Google Play Store works without issues here, along with the other Google apps. Previously, I had faced some issues in the previous version. Lastly, we have full implementation of Model U theme in the OS. From text to buttons and other UI elements, Find OS has completely adopted the color engine. We also get a new wallpaper with the theme of Desolate Frontier. So that was the best new features of Fire OS 19 update. I will be coming with more Fire OS videos along with the whole boot guide. So stick around and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.